in human life which are important. The first is to be kind. The Yo, second is to be kind. And the third is to be kind. Animals and shit. We started getting reports of animals being dumped here in Ahoski, all of them right here behind it's the Piggly Wiggly um, shopping center. Um, that kind of started the whole thing. The dogs and cats, they uh, were partially <laughs> frozen. There was rumors got out about the local Chinese place using the dogs for food. Uh, really hurt his business tremendously. There are two PETA employees who right now are facing a total of 50 felonies for animal cruelty and some other charges in North Carolina. Out here come body down to this area of and pick up some animals and take them back to their place in Norfolk where we assume that they were trying to find homes for them. Less than an hour later, all the animals, Dirt. 31 of them in all, were dead. Killed in the back of a PETA-owned van driving down the highway. And then these two had the gall to put the bodies in a trash bag, throw them in a dumpster behind a grocery store. Railroaded people and laying their dogs out. Known liars. Hinkle and Cook's boss, who is PETA's founder, is defending her employees. At a news conference shortly after the arrests, Ingrid Newkirk did call the dumping laying of bodies, puppies quote, out. hideous. Murderers. But said nothing about the alleged deception Pull used up to, to your crib, the lie on you, and lay your what dog she did out. Was, was wrong with the bodies, but... She didn't cause suffering or pain or misery or anything like that. That's the ethical Urgh. treatment of animals that PETA stands for, apparently. I was paged by the police department that afternoon, and they asked me to do an autopsy on one of the animals that they had found uh, in this van. And it was a six-month-old puppy mm -hmm. that Ain't appeared to be just in dogs, absolute man. perfect health. It's amazing to me that Ingrid has pictures of her with puppies and all Killing this when their big thing is animals. euthanizing. Or not owning pets. As our regular animal shelters know, actually caring for animals doesn't no. make you a lot of money. You put a lot of money really into these money dogs saying, just for these care for the animals. people to railroad us and take it from us because they jealous the and kill them. For some reason, people pay for that. You know, PETA's really very shrewd and savvy marketers. PETA is the most retrograde organization there is out there on dog and cat issues right across the board. Y'all need to stop funding yeah, they, and they, they donate. They really misled the public grossly on their positions on companion animals. And the business in North Carolina is probably about the 15th time in 15 years or thereabouts that something similar has been brought to our attention involving PETA. This time, finally, somebody's going to trial. So why don't they try to find animals uh, homes? They tell us they're going to try to find homes, but they took and killed them. And they then find after homes. this came they to life, we found out just that them out. Uh, Norfolk up there, uh, Norfolk PETA group, uh, finds homes for about 13% of their animals, when the other humane societies in that area tend to find homes for 85, 75, or 65% of their animals. So they're finding homes for very few and basically killing Possible a great deal of what they bring for in. This is animals. PETA's True animal facts. record for 2000 from the state of Virginia. Uh, PETA in that year killed 1,911 animals. Murderers now, killed 1,911 animals. So. But they took in 2,225 animals. They killed 1,911 of them. What is that, about 85%, 84%? Oh, that's what this I'm dude wants you to believe. They killed PETA more than animals. that. I guarantee you that true, shit. It is. I mean, it is sort of a death cult, too. You have to understand that the premise of what they do at PETA is we have to kill them to save them. Because people are bad. You ain't saving These shit. These animals oh, ugly are ass, ass, bitch so ass we have to take care of them. We have to do society's dirty work. We don't take that too kindly here in Northeast North Carolina. playing that shit in North Carolina and no Carolina shit. When I saw Fuck that PETA North was trying to put a spin saying that they were teaching humane euthanasia. If PETA is nothing else, it's the master of spin. PETA can take its worst press day and turn it into a victory for animals. And I think it'll do that with North Carolina. We haven't gone down there to say, hello, we're an adoption agency. We're not. We are the shelter of last resort. You know, it's not something I would personally do, but compassionately euthanize them. I don't like how they were very disrespectful to bodies afterwards, but those animals had a much grimmer fate awaiting them. What's so interesting about that organization is that they will talk about ending suffering all the time. They will never talk about saving a life. And if you read the website, on the website it says the kindest thing you can do for a cat that doesn't have a home is take it into a shelter and have it humane. That's a lie. You know, if you're killing an animal, I don't care if it's too beautiful music. Man, we don't care. I don't we care. We on your ass. Stop killing animals. With pretty Shit ain't right. Wallpaper. I don't 
care if they're killed on velvet sheets. You don't care if they kill on Gucci. What fuck you mean? And that is not our right. It is not ours.